Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time, we're going to talk about writing formula and naming of covalent compounds. Recall that covalent compounds are formed when two nonmetals combine with each other. In the figure are the common elements that can bind covalently with each other. In each element, we can see the number of valence electron. Valence electron is the number of electrons in the outermost shell. We can also see the number of covalent bonds it can have with other elements. The number of covalent bonds also indicates the ionic charge of element. Group 1A can have one bond. Group 3A can have three bonds. Group 4A can have four bonds. Group 5A can have 3 bonds for nitrogen and either 3 or 5 bonds for phosphorus. Group 6A can have 2 bonds for oxygen and 2, 4 or 6 bonds for sulfur. Group 7A can have 1 bond for fluorine, 1, 3 or 5 bonds for chlorine and bromine, and 1, 3, 5 or 7 for iodine. Lastly, for group 8A, mostly Elements are stable and only xenon can have either 2, 4, or 6 bonds. Commonly, when elements combine to form a covalent compound, the element under the lower group number is on the left and the element under the higher group number is on the right, which means that the element under the lower group number acts as cation and the element under the higher group number acts as an ion. If the combined elements are in the same group number, the one with the higher period acts as cation and the one with the lower period is an ion. In naming the covalent compound, it uses Greek numerical prefixes like mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona, and deca. Also, the general structure for naming is prefix plus element for the first word and prefix plus element root name plus id or ide for the second word. The first word can have prefix if it has more than one atom, which means there is no need to indicate mono if there is one atom for the first word. Let us try naming and writing formula for covalent compound. Okay, so write the formula for carbon disulfide. So there is one carbon and the prefix di means 2 sulfur. We have... Okay, so next, what is the name of... There is one phosphorus and 5 chlorine. So the name is... Phosphorus pentachloride. Okay, so next, what is the name and formula for atoms with 2 nitrogen and 4 oxygen? The nitrogen comes first before oxygen because it is under the lower group than that of oxygen. There is 2 nitrogen so we use the prefix di and for oxygen use the prefix tetra. Hence, the name would be dinitrogen tetraoxide or dinitrogen tetroxide then the formula would be okay so that's it that is all for now i hope you learned something today once again this is easy engineering